Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at Voice Attack, how we download it, install it, set it up and use it in conjunction with DCS World. So first of all, what is Voice Attack and why are we going to use it? Well, I'll just show you a practical example. Let's jump in the F-15. Cruising along and gear down. Gear down, sir. Gear up. Gear up, sir. Flaps down. Flaps down, sir. Gun. Gun selected, sir. BVR. BVR, sir. Foresight. Foresight, sir. Vertical. Vertical scan, sir. And so on and so forth. So voice attack is listening to my voice and that can translate as actions that we can program into DCS World. Now, at first thoughts, that's not actually very useful. Why go through all the trouble of installing voice attack so you can say stuff that you could very easily just bind to a button on your joystick or keyboard and that's a lot easier than you know speaking it and going through the extra complication of the computer understanding you and whatnot and so I've always thought of this as just a novelty it's just a you know just a silly thing well at least that's what I thought until I installed it you guys have forced me to install it because you want a tutorial on it so that's what we're doing and I found actually it's incredibly useful it take it's a bit of a pain to set up but once it's set up it is really useful and I'm gonna explain why not for commands like uh, this like gear up Gear up, sir. Gear down. Gear down, sir. Because we can do that on our joystick. But it can do, as well as just single commands, it can do a complete ripple of commands. And that is useful. If you're like me and you've got loads of aeroplanes and the sequence of buttons and controls that you need to press to get just a gun to fire or a missile to launch is actually a lot. And I've got 35, 36 modules now. It's becoming almost impossible to remember how to fly these planes. And it's turning out that voice attacks are a real saving grace. As an example, let's go and jump in something a bit more complex. Okay, I'm in my MiG-21 now. And she's listening to everything I'm saying at the moment. And she's waiting for the key phrases. And she'll only say it when she knows that you're talking to her, which is going to be basically the way that I say it. I have to say the word that I've programmed her to listen to, not as part of a sentence, so she won't just grab the word out of a sentence, but just that word on its own. So, to fire a FOX-2 type missile in this aircraft, or to select it and to be able to fire it, I need to turn this here to number one. Well, this is how I want to do it. I need to turn this here up to IR, and this here up to air. So, watch this. FOX-2. FOX-2, sir. You can see I've programmed it, in this case, to do all three commands, and that's great. And as planes get more and more complicated to use, like Tomcats, like Mirages, like F-18s, where you've got to press more and more buttons around the cockpit. And in, com in combat, you know, getting this mouse cursor and pressing buttons and stuff like that, it gets so hard, it's really becoming difficult to me, for me and starting to put me off, to be honest. So, like I said, this is a real saving grace. And there's no real limit to how many buttons it can press in sequence. It can press uh, pretty much infinite buttons in sequence. You can run, even run your DDIs and your um, MFDs and stuff like that if you want, which is brilliant. The complexity of what you want voice attack to do is pretty much limitless because it's fully dynamic. So now I've given you an idea of what it can do. Now we need to go through the tutorial of showing how to install it, set it up and run it. So I'm going to quit here and we'll go to the website. OK, let's go and install it. A web browser of your choice and a search engine of your choice, voice attack spelled wrong there we go there it is voiceattack.com there are two versions of voice attack a free trial version and a fully paid version the free trial version gives you what you call one profile and that one profile can carry up to 20 commands so for instance gear up is one command gear down is one command and those commands are put into batches and those batches are called profiles. You might have one profile per game or more likely you'll have one profile per aircraft. So I suggest just doing what I've done which is download the free version, use it until you run out of commands and then purchase the full version. So we're going to go to download. I'm going to click on this guy here and you're going to go down here, save as, save it. This is an application, just so save it somewhere in a temporary folder then go and click on that application and then it's going to take you through the normal Windows style installation process and it will hold your hand as you go. Okay, so let's pretend that we've downloaded that and installed it. The next thing we need to do is teach the computer how to understand our voice. If we don't do this, then it's not going to work or not going to work very well. So we're going to go into here, we're going to go to, con uh, so this is our Windows bar down at the bottom here, control panel, 
we're going to click speech recognition and we're going to do this one here train your computer to understand you better so this is where it's going to learn our voice whether we're southern accent northern accent irish accent scottish accent whatever i'm going to go to next and it's going to ask you to say these comments out here and listen to them and as you say those comments out that will train the computer to listen to the various recognizable parts of what you say and how you speak so that will take about five minutes and then that'll be done and you can keep doing it more and more and the computer learns your voice more and more the more you do it needless to say obviously in a microphone setup but um, you know i'm going to assume that you all can do that on your own okay with that done we can run the application for the first time so i'm going to run the application double click uh, if we want to register to do our full i haven't used about my 20 free uh, commands yet i'm still a bit of a noob but i'm still good enough to show, do this tutorial which is going to be going over the most of the basics that you'll need we won't go over the super advanced stuff because that's for another video um, it's got tool tips here that help you out you can get rid of them by uh, turning off here but I'm still going to keep them on I'm going to close that and up comes the application so first of all this box here is our record of tasks so as i'm talking it may or may not oh you see that so first of all this box who is and that's what it thought what i said i haven't done enough um setting up yet so it, do, it doesn't understand my voice very well at the moment i'd have to do more setup but uh, this is the list of things that it thinks i'm saying you can see you got that one right there and if we want to clear that at any point then we just go right click clear that so this box isn't too important next we need to choose our profile and remember we only get one profile with the free trial so it's just going to be this profile here which i've called test profile now to actually do something to actually set up some commands we're going to go to this guy here in fact before we go there there is a very important thing for this to work with dcs uh, we need to run this program as administrator the way we do that is we click on the spanner here we go to system advanced here click run voice attack as an administrator it gives it the permission to if you like kind of hack into dcs and send commands to dcs so make sure you've got that run as administrator okay and there are other setups you can do i haven't looked into this thoroughly yet but there's different ways you can set things up ad hoc keys change to audio recognition and stuff like that okay for the target i just keep active window there when i'm playing dcs the dcs will always be the active window as long as you've got it you know you're actually flying in there so that just works fine so let's go and set up our first command so we click with this profile here selected which will be selected as default you click here edit profile and here is my test profile uh, i should say here is options so i can change my profile so if i go in there here are various options i again i haven't changed anything here i'm just keeping everything very basic at the moment generally i always say the more basic you can keep it the more reliable it is so I've not changed anything in there and here are the actual commands that I've been setting up within this profile you can see that I have 11 commands at the moment BVR ball sight flaps down flaps up Fox 1 Fox 3 Fox 2 gear down gear up guns and vertical so I'm going to show you firstly adding a simple command and then I'm going to show adding a complex command so firstly a simple command I go to new well I should say first of all these guys that we've got here these commands I've already set up if I wanted to edit them I can click edit edit or double click on them and here's where the actual work's done cancel that I'm going to add my new command so this is setting up our command first of all how do we want to trigger this command it can be voice activated which we've got here it can be uh, the press of a key it can be the press of a button on a joystick if you want the joystick to work you have to go and set the joystick up in the options and you have uh, the ability of triggering it with a mouse button or mouse movement here so why do we got these guys here if this is a voice program well the reason is there is actually some real use for instance if you wanted one button of your joystick to trigger a ripple of 10 buttons to be pressed in your f18 copy you could do it through this you could do a joystick button you could press a button i'm not going to do it now and you could have a series a, a ripple of commands and you could have a ripple of commands in this box here that it goes and does in your airplane so it's just something to think about so this example is i want to have a command that turns my master arm on in whatever jet i'm flying this one command here will work for all of my jets uh, tomcat a harrier a hornet whatever so I'm gonna, this is the speech that it's listening for master arm that's the words that i'm going to say what does it do when it hears me say master arm 
first of all, I wanted to do a key press. It's just a tip. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold left control, left shift, and mic. You can see it's picked that up. Left control, left shift, and mic. And what it's actually doing is it's telling DCS that that button, these buttons, have been hold, held down for that many seconds, 0.1 seconds. The lower this number goes, the quicker the action will happen in DCS, but the less reliable it will be. If you're running DCS and it's running at a relatively slow frame rate, then if this is a very quick press and release, then it may miss that command. So it's just something to bear in mind. Or if you don't want to press and release, you could just do press or you could just do release or toggle keys. Okay. And we also wanted to say something back to us. We don't have to. It's just really for this tutorial uh, to show you and uh, confirmation that the computer has understood what we've said to it. So what I'm going to do here is other. I'm going to do sound. Say something with text to speech. And you've got all these other options. You've got loads and loads of options. Most I haven't even been through yet. Um, there's a whole hour video we could do on this. We'll play a sound, play a random sound, stop sounds, capture audio, all sorts of stuff. But we're going to do, we're going to make him say something, we'll make her say something. And she's going to say, master arm on sir. Test it. Master arm on sir. Okay. So to recap, it's going to listen for me to say master arm. It's then going to press that button in DCS with those buttons. And then it's going to confirm by saying master arm on sir. Okay, so that's that done. Now what we've got to go and do is set that up in DCS World through the normal adjust controls. Before we go there, I'd just like to uh, look at a complex command. That was a simple one. Let's look at a complex one or a more complex one. Not completely complex. We're going to go to Fox 2 there. Edit. This one's a little more complex. So it listens for me to say Fox 2 here. And what is it does is it presses that, which is left control, left shift and D for 0.05 seconds. Then it... This is a ripple. Then it does left control, left alt D. Then it does right control, right alt D. Then right control, right shift D. So it does four button presses. And that means that when I say Fox 2, in each of my aircraft, I've got up to four things that it can do in the cockpit. Four buttons that it can press, four switches that it can turn on, and so on. There's no limit at four. I can put as many as I want in, but I don't want things to get too complicated. It'll do them in the order that we've got here, and so you can move them up and down here. And we can also go in and edit them. And the even cooler thing is that what we can do is call one command from another command. So you can have embedded commands. So if I say Fox 2 here, it can go and do this. As that, what I could do then is my next command here is tell it to call up another command, like a uh, bore site there. Then what it will do is if I said Fox 2, it will, re it will do this stuff in DCS. Then it will call up the command bore site and do the commands, the subcommands that are in bore site. This way you can have commands within commands within commands. And you can make it therefore really as complex as you want. So I could say in an F5 Tiger, um, and we'll maybe try this later, Fox 2. and it Fox 2, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. I've called her Amy. Um, and I could first make it run a subcommand, which puts all the weapon uh, pylon switches down, all seven, eight of them, however many there are. Then it runs another command, which puts just the two switches that it needs to go upwards to the Fox 2 missiles on the outside, and puts the master arm on, and anything else that I needed to do. So I could, you know what I mean? I could, it can, you can make it intelligent. You can put delays in there. You could make it really just set up an entire cockpit for you at however complex you want it to be. It's up to you. So it's a very powerful tool. Personally, I wouldn't want to get that complicated. I think it would just get a bit too much, but I know some of you like your complicated stuff, so you can go ahead and do that. This is about as complex as I'd like it to go, really. Okay, so we're gonna click OK there, and we're gonna click Apply, and done. So let's have a test. Fox 2. Fox 2, sir. Master arm. Master arm on, sir. Lovely job. Right, so that's what... <laughs> look at that. So that's working. What we're going to go and do now is go into DCS and show setting that side up for it, for setting up the master arm in a couple of planes. And then I'm going to show setting up that quite complex Fox 2 command in, let's uh, say, a Tiger, because I haven't done that. So it takes quite a lot of setup, but uh, let's get that done. Okay, let's do the master arm in the Hornet, so fly. I want to get the name of this switch, so I'm going to hover over there, see what the name of this, probably just master arm, master arm switch. And we're going to go into adjust controls, make sure it's the Hornet, and it is. I'm going to type in here, search master arm. Okay, I want master arm. Master arm on, sir. 
quiet please Amy uh, that one there and so on keyboard here I'm going to put the command in another way we could have done this from voice attack is that we could have instead of telling it to press a key we could have told it to press a joystick button so it can drive your hotas directly I prefer to do it with the keys I don't really want it conflicting at all with my joystick so it's just something to bear in mind double click there the command was left shift left control and mic I think okay master arm master arm on sir that's good okay master arm master arm on sir master arm master arm on sir lovely that's that and I'll do another one for air to ground later on uh, let's next go and do the F5 shall we this one has the, com the ripple of commands so turn that off turn that off turn that off right so to select my Fox 2 in this aircraft I'm gonna pause I need to put that up there I need to put that up there and I need to put that up there I just realized another one we could do we could do select bombs we could do bombs in here and what it could do is you could it will automatically select the bomb there and it could set the fusing up for you automatically it could set the interval up automatically for you so that would be a bomb set up and ready to go so maybe that's another one uh, we'll do we'll leave that to another time so we've got this guy here which is armament position selector armament position left wing tip right wing tip on off so let's go and do that one first of all first thing I like to do is make sure we've got no nothing conflicting here so I'm going to say fox 2 fox 2 sir good so there's nothing set up for it already so what was it uh, armament right here we go armament Position so that to left wind tip on. So we had four commands available for the Fox 2 command that we said. Fox 2, sir. Oh, shut up, woman. Um, the first one would be left shift, left control, and D. So let's do that. Next, we want right wing tip on, which is here. And the next command we have available is left control, left alt D. That's that done, and then we need to do the master arm. Let's see if it's called master arm. It is. No, it's not. Uh, it's something else. So let's go. Okay, let's go and find out what this is called. Guns missile. It's this one here, and we want it. This one here, I think. So the third command I've got available was right alt, right control, and delta. Okay. Ooh, another one we can do is ECM on to set up our jammers. Uh, to set up our, sorry, our ECM. Another one is jammers. There's infinite we could do here. Uh, so, let's test this. Fox 2. Fox 2, sir. <laughs> How about that? Egeringo. Pretty cool. So that was an example of a relatively complex, uh, complex ripple. Uh, again, it's not calling commands from other commands that would be uh, super complex but this is somewhere in between but it shows you how useful it can be so to summarize we've shown how to install it how to set it up in windows run it as an administrator how we can run it for free or we can pay for the full version we can set up our profile we can set up our commands with our profile and how we can get it all to work within dcs world so go and download your free copy of voice attack set up some cool stuff uh, to save you some time and help you fly your jets I hope that was useful to you and see you later.